So, uh, in this small video series, um, or in this video at least, I'll show you how to export your layers individually uh, from Affinity Designer and then send them to your email. So, uh, it, it, this is a little time consuming, unfortunately, but it, it is the fastest way I found that you can uh, export layer by layer on Affinity Designer. So first things first, before we proceed, um, go to your file, resize, oh. file, file, resize, verify that your width and height is five by 12, five by 12 pixels. Your DPI is 150, so all good. You don't have to do anything there. Um, you just have to change to those numbers and then hit apply if you aren't Then verify that all the layers are selected and they're viewable right here Doesn't matter if they overlap you're good go to pixel then go to slice then go to then you'll he's you'll see here that each of the slices has already been like selected um oh actually how you do that would be you'd select this file like this go to see that's the slice right there you don't really need that but then you would hit slices all these slices for each file each layer would be created and Unfortunately, um, none of these would be the same size. Like they would adjust for the individual layer. So you would go to select the layer that you want, then go to transform. Then you'd put 512 by 512 um, and have something like this. Uh, the position zero, the anchor should be Either right here in the middle the same thing for all the other ones so transform transform right and you do this manually uh so it's dimensions 512 by 512 position 256 by 256 and the anchor would be right in the middle all right so now that you have you have transformed all of these layers just select them like this Then go export, create another folder. Oh, actually, yeah, a folder A, D, Affinity Designer, export. Then go done. select each one of these and by the end of it you should have 15 so if you go back go to your folders AD export you have 15 items then all you have to do is put select and email these to yourself and from there, uh, I'll show you on PC how to rename these correctly so that the Hashlib program that will create your NFT art, art piece collection will, will accept them. All right, well, thank you and I'll see you in the next video.